How's it going everybody? Ed Ricker here. We are at a random office complex. Not the only one that we've been yet to today. Uh, we actually got kicked out of a place just a few minutes ago. It was an epic spot. I don't know, I wasn't really that surprised. It was, it was almost too epic to not get kicked out. We're in these, this area near Durham. There's a couple office complexes that have glass, like a lot of glass, not just windows, but like a full wall of glass. And the sun is setting which means we might get some cool shots. I got my DJI FPV system, but I do also have a GoPro on there for optimal video performance. We got Scott, Scott Rue, and he's got his DJI, and uh, he's gonna be ripping this too. Props are trashed. Props are trashed, yeah, my props are trashed too. That um, first spot really did a number on it. We both crashed really hard at that first spot, so maybe it's a blessing in disguise we got kicked out, or otherwise we might be, I don't know, completely. Quadless. Yeah. I already got stuck in one of the basketball hoops, so that's a bonus. And uh, if anyone asks what we're doing here, we're just the landscaping crew, guys. Noise, all right, let's get some rippage going. The sun is setting, we don't have a whole lot of time. That's a problem with uh, trying to fly drones, you know, when it's like December. Five o'clock, it's already almost too dark to really get a good, you know, flight in. So we're gonna get a few more in before it's too late. Let's go. Well, I keep trying to bonk the backboard of this basketball hoop, and it's not going well. The second, the first time I actually ended up inside the hoop, so at least now I'm on the ground, but at the same time, I fear damage. So we're gonna see just how bad I hit the concrete. There he is. Okay, he's laughing at me. That's fine, that's fine. That's what friends are for.
All right. Um, whoa. <laughs> His battery just died, he says. Want well, me to carry you back? Yeah. All right, I got two quads to carry. How about this? <sighs> one quad in one hand. And can I do this? Got a few leaves, that's okay. That's okay. Here we go. A couple months ago, I was actually trying to get rid of this Segway, the one I reviewed a few months ago. Actually, it's been more than a few months now, isn't it? Wow. And uh, I realized it's so much easier to jump on this and retrieve a quad if you end up breaking it. And I don't know what's God going on. Died. They're still beeping. His goggles died, his, his, his battery on his drone died. Uh, mine just never came back. The image went away. I never saw anything ever again. Uh, sometimes the DJI FPV system takes a while to regain its signal when it loses it. Um, like right now, it's still plugged in, but all I see is a DJI thing on the goggles. I don't see any FPV of what my goggles are seeing. So I'm gonna have to power cycle this. See if that works. All right, power cycling works. So I see it again. Whatever. The sky's looking pretty lovely right now. Well, with that one, I lost uh, a prop. So the prop nut came off, spun the prop off, who knows where that is, and then I broke another prop. Well, I crashed about five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine times today, I'm not sure, I've lost count. But it was a good time, I'm not gonna lie. Um, nothing, I shouldn't jinx myself, I'm not quite done flying. I was gonna say, I, I don't really have a whole lot to repair, but I will say my DJI FPV system got a little mushy toward the, uh, this side of the building. And I couldn't see some of the scraggle that I might have seen if it was either brighter or if I was closer, maybe had a little bit better signal reception with the D DJI FPV system. I'm not sure, but um, it's just kind of a bad time of year for that anyway. These little tiny twigs, it's so hard to see sometimes, especially when you're trying to do some gap work like I was doing earlier. The first spot we went to was pretty dope, but it was a bust. The second spot was an absolute bust. This spot, no one cares. So, so far, yeah, yeah. So, it's not the greatest spot, but you know, 
wrap it up with what we got. Sometimes the best spot, some days, is just the spot that you know you can rip without having to look behind your shoulder all the time. And those last two spots, we kind of had a feeling that it wouldn't be primed to stay there more than a couple minutes. Um, and we were proved right on that second location. Anyway, let's finish this up and uh, we'll talk soon. Um, check the link in the video description. I used to link to kit.com, but now they've switched the URLs. Kit no longer owns kit.com. Now they own kit.co. They got bought out or something. It's really weird. So all my old links to kit.com no longer work. And that's great. Uh, so kit.co slash edrickervlog is where you can see most of my FPV um, tech and my, my gear, my gadgets that I use to fly. And um, we still got a little bit of a sunset left. So let me put another battery in and see what we can we can squeeze out of the sunset. It's awesome. For my last couple of flights this evening, I'm using an analog quad just because my DJI quad needs a little TLC tonight. Um, also, I'm using the new Fat Shark HDO2s with rapid fire and two Luminaire Axie Mini 2s or Axie Stubby 2s. Um, that's about the best I can squeeze out of analog right now, and we'll hope we can get a good shot or a good flight with this sunset. Oh, I'm missing a prop. 